try to give that. My opinion could be that, uh, it, this isn't my opinion, so don't start on that. Yeah. But my opinion could be that women should not preach in church. Mm. That could be my opinion, right? But it's right or wrong is a different matter, isn't it? Some people might think that's right. So what opinion, we're not letting our opinions over. My opinion might be that I'm a Muslim. And that's the way to go. But that might not be true. So your opinion formed your will, Ralph. Your opinion formed your will. Yeah. So we're giving our opinion. So my opinion might be all drug addicts deserve everything they get. Some people are like, oh, why some people feel that? That's an opinion. You're wrong. We're all wrong. That's the whole point. We're all always wrong. All of us are always wrong. So, okay. Because we have opinions. And our opinions are what they says, our opinions, they're not God's. Okay? So, as we understood him, so when this was written, so this notion wasn't written to say I have higher power at this point. It, this was about Jesus Christ. So I sure might understand Jesus, might be different to how I understand Jesus, how Alan understands it, or Mary Ann and Joanne, it might be different ways of understanding it. Because there's lots of different theologies, isn't there? There's Catholics, there's Protestants, there's a million Pentecostal, Charismatic, da 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 da. But it's all understanding God in different ways. But yet, there's only one God. So again, we have to be cool. Jesus followers, not people followers, not religion followers, not religion, most importantly I think, not. We've, we've lived, you know, we've lived with that for a long time, it's, it's, it's hard because we see so many symbols and things around us, but it's not to live in them things, we can use them things for the glory of God, but it's not to live in them things. So, as we understand it, okay. So, what do you think, in, in Christian terms, what do you think it all sounds like, really? This step. Would it, what would we. Surrender. Yeah. Surrender, yeah. yeah. If 
Uh, if my wife was cheating on me, and she kept coming out and doing it again and again and again, and I'm being such a nice Christian minister, and I'm going, oh, it's terrible. I have to stay because I love her, and I have to let her walk all over me. I'm making such a big sacrifice. That's not the gospel. Yeah. That's me being walked all over. So there is some sacrifice involved, kind of in surrender, because we're sacrificing to Jesus, to God through Jesus Christ. It's not the sacrifice for others because that's works. That's doing stuff for others. And there's within the 12 steps, there's an organization called Eleanor, which is full of people, parents, partners, uh, children, families of people who are alcoholics. And they've been doing this. And they're just destroying themselves. There's no Jesus in it, there's no God in it. They might think it is, but it isn't. Because the sacrifice isn't to God. It's about them. And they become codependent on the person who's causing the mayhem. So I've noticed a lot of times you see things like uh, uh, partners being battered and they go back a million times and stuff. And it's not that they want to, it's not they think the sacrifice they're making, it isn't the gospel. Do you know, you see it a lot where you, uh, uh, vicars and pastors and church leaders and stuff, they think they have to stay when somebody's wrong or doing something wrong, they think they have to stay with that person over and over again. So they're making a sacrifice, which human sacrifice is not God. Do you not sacrifice your free will to sin to follow God? Because you have a choice. Because you still have free will, don't you? So if I'm surrendering, I've still got free will to sin. But I sacrifice that will to follow God. Is yeah, but you can't, can you? Because you're always going to sin. So you can't. You have to accept Jesus into your life. Yeah, sure. So he can he can do it for you. Free will removed then. But you still have free will. You still have free will when you follow Jesus, which is in line with with God's. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. more about obedience, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Selfless. Amen. Self, selfless. Mm. So you get it. So this is what happens. We all get anger and get worked up. We fall out with people. We hurt people. We all do stuff. We all do it. Mm. The aim is to be the kind of person that brings and lifts people up, that speaks into situations to lift them up, to love them, to care for them. No matter what, that's God's will. And learning when to keep my shut. When not to say it, that's God's will to love and to care and, 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 and to just support and be obedient to one another and surrender to each other with God at the head. It's not. You might get pain here, but this isn't the gospel. There's a distinct difference between you sacrificing yourself, you're not Jesus. And how dare you think you are? That's the notion of this. This stuff is playing God. And it isn't reliance or obedience. It's about me. And this is about him. And the pain is just about you not getting your own way, really. This and that doesn't lead to new life. This leads to new life. That's not the gospel. And it doesn't mean that people haven't been mistreated. Because they have. But that is not the aim. This is the aim. This way. And that is God's will. So, surrender is giving yourself over to this and leaving that behind. Mm. 
So there's the analogy in the Paul uses of putting on a new core, new core thing. So I'm leaving this behind. And then uh, we talked about repentance. Uh, did we talk about it last week? We talked about it all the time, don't we? But this is a little bit what it's like. So I'm going to use my drawing skills here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Thanks for my eyes. Yeah. And I do have tunnel vision, hence the glasses. So it's like, do, 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 do. Right. So, this is what we look at in our lives. There's our families, maybe, uh, maybe the kids, maybe work or wife, and all these kind of things. Uh, the struggles, oh, it's, you know, it's hard work, what I have to do, if you knew what I had to put, oh, absolutely terrible. This is self and self. Now, repentance, the true meaning of repentance is seeing the world in a different way. So you see the truth about yourself and you do something about it. What happens if you repent is this. You see more. Yeah. Yes. And you see yourself. <laughs> you see yourself. And here you see God. Give it choice. And he's not you. He's not you. Your vision gets wider. So the notion of this is, I'm sure I wrote it down somewhere, bear with me. Uh, it's uh, yeah, Romans 10, 9. Do you want to read it? Get that one, you get that one. Don't let Cass steal it this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So what would that be? Doubt. Doubt. Somebody that don't make chips. 
you know, throwing mashed potatoes. No, it's no good. As ridiculous as that sounds, that's just simplifying it. I've spent my life looking for stuff to suit me and my own thinking. The surrender is the opposite. The complete opposite.